Look at the front where it says Ames real big. Hi everyone. Hi everybody. Right now we're in Fort Worth. Fort Worth, right? Fort Worth. That's what I thought. Okay, just make a sure. And we're just near the Ridgemar Mall and today we're at Don Pablo's. Uh, Don Pablo's was a chain of Mexican restaurants in the United States that closed all of their restaurants several years ago. I'm surprised this one's still standing here with all the labels and signage on it. It's pretty cool. Uh, definitely another first for me. I've never filmed one of these before and this I'm happy was, to do that This was like a family favorite. I went here with my grandparents my parents my friends family cousins everybody And I had my graduation party here. So it's really sad for me. That stinks well It still stands. I Don't know why nothing has moved into it, but let's take a look at it. This is a Wally B 26 first Okay, everyone I wasn't kidding. Here you go, Don Pablo's. With all the signage still up all around this place too. I can't believe that nothing has ever moved into this place at all, ever. Oh, I'm gonna step in some puddles because it just rained, but that's okay. It's all right that it rains just for a little bit. Oh, you can't really see in there anyway. Nope. But compared to Pittsburgh, where it rains constantly every day, <laughs> just fell and got all wet. <laughs> That's okay. Here's the entrance here. That's nuts. Love the neon. It's a shame it's gone. We hope to see you at another location very soon. What other location? Wow. That door's open. It's such a tease. Because none of the other ones are, obviously. Nice. And my feet and my legs are soaked from that puddle right there. <laughs> oh well. I love that, that's cool. We'll walk around over here. I don't know what all we'll be able to see. Love that the signage is still up. That's so cool. I would love to just walk around inside for just a few minutes, you know. There's an upstairs too. I don't know if that was additional seating up there or if that was offices or storage or what. I couldn't tell you. I'm guessing those are skylights up there that where it looks like there are lights on. The exit sign still lit. I wonder if I can get close enough because of these bushes. I don't know. I doubt it. Yeah, it's so far away to get near those windows. It's too difficult to do, but maybe we'll have some luck back here. I don't know. Uh, yeah, there's a break in the bushes. Sweet. <laughs> Can't really see a whole lot, but somewhat. There you go, there's a little bit of a better view. Their dining room, I know you can't see much, you just see the walls here in the corner. Still. All right, here is the back of the Don Pablo's. Still in great shape considering how uh, old it is how long it's been abandoned. 
we used to have one in Ross Township up at McIntyre Square. Now it's a uh, Giant Eagle uh, Get-Go corporate office. Get-Go is their gas station and convenience store. It's equivalent to um, like Sheets, Wawa, Quick Trip. I don't know what all you can see in there. A little bit, not a whole lot. Margaritas. <laughs> well, at least you get to see somewhat of the dining room. I know it's not the best, but at least you get to see something out of this, which is pretty cool. It's just wild that it just sits here like this. Nothing moving in. No, no plans of anything moving in as far as I know. Wow, how bad is it that uh, this door, people were trying to get in to the point they broke the door like that. I mean... It's still, it's still not going to open, but that's insane. That's trying way too hard to get into an abandoned place. And I'm sure it wasn't for the reasons why I would want to go in there. I would never do such a thing like that to begin with, but the only reason I would want to go in is just to take pictures and video like I do every place I film. That's definitely someone's camp there under that roof. Shame. There was this over here. I'm guessing it was for garbage, possibly, even though there's really not much in here to see anyway. It's a lot of it's just demolished. It's probably where they had their dumpsters. There's a cup of ranch that's nasty <laughs> and a key. But other than that, that's it. Over here, there's nothing really to see. But I like walking around and trying to be as thorough as I can. Kayla's hanging out in the Z. Because uh, she wasn't sure if it was just going to start raining or not. Because uh, we have scattered thunderstorms coming through right now. Right now we're in a break. So, hey, you know what? I can't complain. A little bit of rain on one day is better than every single day in rain in Pittsburgh. That gets old fast. That was a good shot. Guess that was the bar. Empty. Man, I'm really hungry. I can't have Don Pablo's. That's right, I had uh, Cafe Rosa's the other day. Yesterday. It was pretty good. I'm hungry today, so the search for food is back on again. Might have to go to Shep's. Sounds like a plan. All right, everybody. Well, uh, no Mexican food today for uh, um, Don Pablo's, but I mean, Cafe Rosa's was pretty good. Mm -hmm. But I need food today, so Shep's is definitely in order. Shep's. You guys, if you guys ever travel to DFW, go to Leatherford, go to Shep's. Best burger you'll ever have. I can't wait. That cream cheese on it. Yeah. All right. <laughs> well, we're going to take off. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you give the video a like. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe to the channel for more content. And until next time, take care. Stay awesome. And have a Kmart-licious day. Bye. Bye.